<laughs> so you can understand that question that he was trying to, uh, there was a reason. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, uh, when we last met uh, at the Booker T. Washington Hall of Fame reception, President Brandon and I were discussing with him the possible, the possibility of the, a street name after you in your honor. And you said, name it after my father. So we said, okay, we're going to honor that request because we got to have that. So we took it before uh, different committees and then people brought up the issue that, oh, wrong. Uh, you already have a part name. Why don't you name that for so and so and so and so and so? I said, well, uh, well, let's look what those credentials that person, that those persons have. Okay, well, let's compare it to Dr. Franklin. Okay, he is, the, uh, he is a professor in the world now. Uh, he is uh, a, a graduate of T. Washington. Uh, his school sat on the same land of what this university stands for, and also go right through uh, the street that we plan on doing, go right through uh, the university. And uh, we went before uh, 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 city council, Joe, uh, Joe Williams, chair. President Rand brought up the new that you know of your request uh, that name after your father. So they said, well, we'll name it after both of them. <laughs> Whatever he wants. So tonight we have planned on presenting you a graphic sign. I didn't know, but I didn't know what was going on with it. Surprise! In other words, and I've been doing this 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 same thing because I've been saying this you know, this whole adventure was worth standing up and fighting and doing all because it was a labor of love because I believe in and the organ just pushed it over, and that is that you have to smell your flowers. Like the day, like tomorrow, I won't be there. <laughs> no, no, no. You gonna, you got, you, you're not finished. You, you got to polish me up and polish this young man. Up. Uh, we got to walk in those steps. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And 5:45. Yeah. I think I'm gonna see my cousin. So. Okay. Uh, Dr. John Hope Franklin's coming. Who? Dr. John Hope Franklin.
Representative Don Ross alluded to earlier this evening, Tulsa has a history, um, 1921 race riot. And there's also a song that was recorded by uh, Charlie, and it's called No Color Lines. And it is our hope that in the 21st century, that we can get beyond color lines, that we can accept one another and love one another for our hearts, the content of our character and our integrity, and get beyond those peripheral things. And right now, I would like to ask the video person and the presentation right now to step forward. This is called No Color Lines, and it was created by Kevin Ross to the tune of No Color Lines.
That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Kevin Ross. And I might like to say that that is a haunting, beautifully written song, and poignant and uh, deeply moving. And that film added to that, it, it just makes the whole thing so brilliant. So to you guys, thank you for the music, and Kevin Ross, thank you for the film. You know, the Wilson brothers grew up in